guys, so for today's video this is going to be Dog Picks My Makeup. So I recently watched that Taylor's video and I've also seen Kathleen Light's video. Obviously I don't know who created it originally but if I do find out I will leave them below. But I'll also leave Kathleen's video and that Taylor's video down below as well. So yeah, I'm super excited for this. Um, expect to see lots of barks, lots of treats being given and wanting lots of belly rubs. Uh, she's definitely not the most obedient dog um that's why mum had to come in and help me because she loves mum everything mum does she can never do wrong um so yeah let's see how this goes <laughs> box what eyebrow product what one pick one okay we're laying on the next one what one this oh oh we've hit the urban oh <laughs> we've hit the urban decay one i'm gonna take that as a as a pick ross Okay, so the paws are already on the Makeup Revolution one. Good girl. So that's the eyeshadow palette she picked. What one we have in? Oh, okay, we're walking straight past them. Where's, well, she's currently sat on my nip and fab one, so we're going to take that as a win. Oh, okay. Did you get it? Yeah. So we've picked a foundation. I didn't even ask you to pick, you just laid there. Good <laughs> girl, Rocks. Mm. <laughs> Cheeky burger. There any Rocks. Hey, Rocks. Which one, Rocks? What concealer? Which one, Rocks? <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that him to take all of them? Okay, we're going to use all three. You chose colour. Not the trees, Cheeky Monkey. She no, just dumped that one. one. Which one? This middle one. Which rocks. One rocks? Pick Which one. one. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <coughs> oh. Oh. What's with the barking? What's Ellie got? No, I'm not rubbing your belly. Eh? Come on. Choose. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Can him. Can you choose? <coughs> Come in then. Come in then. Oh, okay. Come We've in. hit the wet and wild one. Which one? Where's your party? Yeah. There you go, yeah. belly rubs now. All done. Good. Thank yeah. you for your input, rocks. So for eyebrows, she did pick the NYX eyebrow pencil. So this is in the shade Taupe. I've already used the Benefit Brow Valve Conditioning Primer. So I'm just going to put this on. So for eyeshadow base, she picked the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Anti Aging. Well, it wasn't more or less pink, it was more or less. Oh, let's see whatever she hits with her paw. So I'm just going to apply this to the eyelids and blend that out with a crown brush. So for eyeshadow palettes, I have the Revolution Reloaded palette. So this is pr prerogative and I love this palette. I think it's super, super pretty and it's only like four quid. So I'm going to start by taking this matte white shade just to highlight the brow bone on a crown brush C510. Okay, and then so for crease colour, I'm going to take this bottom shade right here on a Spectrum B06. I'm just going to put that directly in the crease. I'm not going to go anything crazy. I just want a sort of pretty pink look. So I'm just going to take that through the crease. I'm just going to blend that out with a crown brush. Then to deepen it up a little bit, I'm going to take this bottom shade down here on a Spectrum 07. And put that directly in the socket. Blend that out again. Then for the outer corner, I'm going to take a mixture of these two shades probably mainly more this one and just a little double of this just to a little bit more darkness put that on the outer corner so for shimmer i'm going to take this shade here on a spectrum a16 and it's just to get right into the corners and then i'll probably pack it on with my finger now i'm just going to take my finger just going to take that itty bitty camera brush and just make sure it's all nice and blended and do you know what i'm going to take a little bit of this pinky shade in the middle as well and just pack that on sort of lightly okay so moving on to skin so she picked the nip and fab rose gold essence what a good girl i love this stuff so for foundation she picked the beauty blender foundation so this is in the shade 130 oh yeah um, I've actually really been enjoying this. I was like, me, me at first, but this is actually quite nice. 
especially mixed with the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. So I mixed it the other day because I was like, I had a bit of self tanner on, and it was really, really pretty. Blend that with me, blender. And then she picked the concealer, the Sleek Life Proof Concealer in flat white. Okay, so I let that dry for a minute and I'm just going to blend it out with the Beauty Blender. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the Hourglass Bowie Touching Fluid and just pop that on the corners. Take my ring finger and just pat that out. So for powder, she picked the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Um, I'm kind of like iffy about this, like I don't know if I'd like it, I don't know if I do. Like I've always, I've been like it for years, like I've had it for years. And I just, I, ne I can never make up my mind. So, uh, we're going to give it a go today. But I don't think it's going to sit well with this concealer. Because this concealer seems to cling to powder a little bit. Which obviously isn't the best. But the problem is, it is a really good concealer. Especially for like drugstore. And I'm just going to take a little bit on an elf stippling brush. And just dust the rest of the face. So for bronzer, she picked the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is a really good bronzer, but I hate the smell. Honestly, everyone's like, oh, it smells like vacation. No, it smells like self-tanner. Like, no. But it, it is really, really nice. So I have the shade Bronzer, which apparently is better for fairer skin tones. Like, the light one is a bit orangey. So I'm just going to take that on a Spectrum C07. Just put that around the perimeters of the face. Then for highlighter, she picked the Wet n Wild You Glow Girl. This is the Mega Glow Loose Highlighting Powder. Um, I haven't tried this out. Like I've literally tried it on the back of my hand, and it looks super pretty. And it was on like Cult Beauty for like two forty nine. I was well charmed. Just gonna apply that to the tops of the cheek, and just apply it a little bit on the tip of the nose. Cute as well. On the bridge. So for blush, she picked the Basic Beach um, Nip and Fab Palette. Nip and Fab Basic Beach Palette. There we go. Uh, I think I'm just going to take... Actually, I might take... No, I don't... Mm. I'm going to take a mixture of these two shades, which is Coral Queen and Pink Lagoon. I'm taking that on the Spectrum A05. And to finish off the eyes, I'm going to take this shade at the bottom that we took on the Crown Brush C528 and just keep that quite close to the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take that bottom transition shade that we took on the Spectrum B06 and just display that out as well. Then take that matte, it's not even a white shade, it's like pinky white. But I'm just going to take that on a spectrum A12, pop that in the inner corners. Then I'm going to finish it off with some setting sprays. Just going to take some mascara for the bottom lashes. Then for lips, she picked the Urban Decay um, Sheer Shimmer Lipstick in Ex Girlfriend. And then this is the completed look. So I hope you enjoyed the video.